Rob. Hi. Hi. You see it in here? Yeah. I don't like popping balloons. You don't like popping balloons? No. Oh. I'm going to... Very suspicious, Al. They look like they're in Morse code or something. Really? The balloons, yeah. Four dots, three dashes or something, I don't know. <laughs> Done. Oh, it's the... Taking the piss, mate. Pop the balloons. Fastest wins. Your time starts when you pop the next balloon. Oh, good God, I actually hadn't even noticed those. <laughs> oh! Oh! Yeah, not ideal if I do that approach, is it? <laughs> pop all the balloons. Time starts when I do my first one. Right, OK. How am I supposed to pop these balloons? Look how long that took. I've already lost this task. <laughs> Time's going to start. Yeah. Pop all of the balloons as quickly as you can. Simple task. So the time starts when you pop your first, first balloon. First balloon. Now, these are intelligent people. They're not, they're not just going to steam in and just start popping the balloons. No, no, because they can make a plan. They can they're get, gonna, get something. So they're they're going to think about it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, do you want to start with Dave and Sarah? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I haven't even got the keys in my pocket. That's annoying. OK. Yeah, they are all popped. Thanks, Dave. I'm <laughs> <laughs> fascinating. <laughs> Medically fascinating. <laughs> so Dave was... I mean, he was particularly feral. He used his beard at times. He was just sort of round on one minute... <laughs> what do I think about when I think of Dave Gorman? Feral. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one minute 50. Sub two. Sarah, also sub two. One minute 58. Oh. All oh. oh. that oh. slow-mo ones you were doing. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's, uh, let's go to a logical brain. Paul. Really? <laughs> OK. We can see Paul and Rob together. Let's. Oh, OK. Yeah. Could be a winner. Is, it, is anyone... Is there a lighter anywhere? <laughs> this could pop some, in one hand. It's quite dangerous, but, uh, It's the old knuckle-duster trick, you know? <laughs> well, if I get one in each hand... Fastest wins. All right, all right. Shuriken! Bastards, mate. They're bastards, isn't it? Oh, one left. Bastard. I mean, it's a bit like watching the evolution of humankind, this show, really. <laughs> First, it's, we see the very basic primates using their teeth, <laughs> and then they discover tools. <laughs> I've seen that in Mortal Kombat, so... I, I, I got the reference. No, that was Street Fighter 2, but... Oh, I didn't get the reference. <laughs> <laughs> and nice to see that you're consistent with your use of the word bastard as well. <laughs> Last episode, you called a rabbit covered in a slush puppy a bastard. <laughs> and now it's the turn of the balloon community. 
<laughs> that was a snowman in the last one. That was that. It wasn't a snowman, mate. <laughs> good though, really good. Rob? Yeah, I bet you started off with a corkscrew and another corkscrew. Yeah, you could say, you could say two corkscrews. I had two corkscrews, yeah, but yeah. one corkscrew is better, so I stopped to do that, but then in the end I just went for one handed swipes like a sort of angry cat. <laughs> Very impressive, but how impressive was it time-wise? Well, weirdly, Paul wasn't that much quicker than the biters. One minute 26. It's quicker, oh, yeah. not that much. Uh, Rob, who sort of treated them like wine bottles, unscrewed them, 31.6 oh, seconds. Wow! Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> we just got Al to go. You ready for Al? Yeah, OK. <laughs> Here he is. Oh! Hell. Are they all going to fit, Al? No, they're not all going to fit. Right. But that doesn't mean that doesn't mean this isn't a good idea. No, 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 <laughs> What is the idea, Al? To group the balloons together into small amount together as possible. Yeah. And then commence popping them. One big pop. To try and get them all in one go. Yeah. To to narrow the time down. Yeah. But I can take as long as I like over managing the time. Yeah. So far, I've taken no time over this, even though we're taking a long time over it. Yeah. Trust me, this is the obvious way to do it. Ryan running around in a frenzied idiot panic. <laughs> it's either this or the cricket bat. Is it? For England. You know? <laughs> Just got to reorganise these balloons. Right. <laughs> I'm stopping the clock there. You're, you're all gone. <laughs> Just making sure. Yeah. I only lost two balloons, was it? Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. I enjoyed that. All right. Thank you, Al. We'll do. We'll deal with this. Yeah, sure. Yeah. That's a really clever idea, uh, horrifically executed. <laughs> <laughs> what would the, I mean, obviously, the terrible news is that there were two escaped balloons. Yet to be popped. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably popped by now, but yeah. we can't verify it, so it's not looking good for him. He spent 34.6 seconds smashing it with a cricket bat, so he would have come in second, but the two... Behind were... Rob's corkscrew. Exactly. Right, yeah. Was there anything else about his attempt? I don't know if you remember at the beginning of the task, Al said something. Do you want to have a look? Yeah. They look like they're in Morse code or something. The balloons, yeah. Four dots, three dashes or something, I don't know. It does, doesn't it? It does look a bit like Morse it does. code. So, because you said that, we had a look at it and... We checked it out just... Weirdly, it was... What? It says this. Excellent. What the bejoysers is this all about? Hi, Alex. Oh, he's not talking. It's up to him, isn't it? Wearing this blindfold, blow up this balloon. Uh-oh. Blow up this balloon so that its circumference is the same as the length of a standard cucumber. The balloon? <laughs> it's circum... Yeah, OK. Um, you have one minute. Your time starts when Alex blows his whistle. You have one minute. What's all this then, mate? A distraction? I mean, I can't blow up balloons, so already I'm at a disadvantage. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Good. So, pretty, pretty straightforward task. Yeah, it was quite a simple task. Blow uh, up a balloon, so it's. The circumference, circumference is the same, same length, length as, as a, a standard cucumber. Standard cucumber. Standard cucumber. Standard cucumber. Standard cucumber. So they popped on their eye masks and they tried to successfully blow the balloon to the right circumference. I can't blow up balloons, lads. The circumference of a cucumber. 
Surely the circumference of cucumber is very, very narrow. Can I ask any help? No. <laughs> now that I think about it, that is massive. That is definitely too big. Oh, there's a different task. I, I did sort of wonder about all that stuff. All oh, right. Wow. Spot the difference. Have a look at the scene in front of you. Oh, you never told me that I had to look at it in the first place. Let's have a look at the scene in front of you and explain exactly what's changed since you put the blindfold on. You have two minutes. Your time starts now. <laughs> Sneaky, wasn't it? You were all surprised when you took off your eye masks and something had happened. But uh, we did make ten differences to the scene in front of you. Uh, we had a minute to do it whilst you were blowing your balloons. This is what we did. Just to run through the ten differences, uh, the mannequin has now got a beard. There we go. Uh, the lamp is now a duck. The water's turned to wine. The potato is on the table. The squirrel is now a cat. Pots became spot. There we go. Uh, rug. The rug has swivelled. The entire backdrop is blue instead of green. Alex's hat has changed and Alex's body has changed. <laughs> How do you think they did? <laughs> Well, I would think that if anyone didn't notice that a human had changed, <laughs> those people should seek some sort of professional help. <laughs> Let's yeah. see. Well, we can start with Mark. I've known Mark for 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> we can look at Mark and Sally and Bob. Oh, OK. OK. Uh -oh. Here we go. I, be I believe that said pots, not spot. The thing on the easel was different and that the pots were in a different configuration. The cap was in a slightly different position. I thought it was a squirrel on the chair, but is it that cat? I mean, is it always that cat? I think the duck may have been somewhere else. Um, I don't think the duck was there at all. Uh, Horn's hat, I don't think was that, was it? I think Horn was wearing sort of a cowboy hat or something, but I believe the colour of Alex's hat has changed. I think that Alex had a different hat on. Is he wearing a gas mask now that he wasn't wearing before? <laughs> oh, thanks, everyone. Bye, Alex. Thanks for the talk. <laughs> Unbelievable. Mm. I think that pretty much Bob and Sally just said everything, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, they, they just, just said there wasn't a table. <laughs> ah, the... <laughs> <laughs> they both they both noticed two things were different. Everyone noticed the hat, and uh, Bob noticed the squirrel had gone, and you noticed the duck had appeared. <laughs> and Mark, not much better, he noticed the hat. Uh, the sign said pots, that was good. And then the potato and the wine. So, uh, not great. Right. <laughs> None of you noticed I wasn't there. <laughs> Easily done. Let's see if younger eyes are more successful. OK. <laughs> Here are Ashling and Nish. The mannequin in the bed has a beard. The man in the sleeping bag now has a beard. The cat was a dog. That cat was not on the chair. And also, Spot was black. I knew I should have been paying better attention. That didn't say Spot. I think it said Pow or something. It said something about beginning with a P. And the potato and cat swap positions. The duck was there. The pots of paint were not there. The mat's the same. The blanket is going the opposite way to the way it was. Ooh. Alex is shorter. <laughs> Wait a minute, that's not. Right, well, Horn was wearing a, uh, a Stetson. Now he's wearing a hard hat. The hat is an obvious difference. The, that's, that's what I got. Effort from uh, Nish, considering, well, how spectacularly rubbish he is across the board. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, Nish didn't do very well. He, uh, the beard, the cat, and the hat. The, that old. Oh, that old story. Tale. Tale. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas Ashling was the only one who noticed it wasn't me, so thank yes. you for that. And yet, was... earlier on, with the marmite, you stabbed me in my face. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you were absolutely incredible at that task. 
incredible performance. Yeah, the beard, uh, the spot became a word beginning with P. The blanket was the other way around. That was amazing. Yeah. No yeah. one spotted that the three meter by two meter tart Paulin had changed colour. <laughs> <laughs> The biggest thing and change from blue to green. Was there nothing for the cucumber measuring? Absolutely fuck all. I know there is. It's just instinct. <laughs> it was just instinct to shut him down. <laughs> <laughs> what about the cucumber? Oh, there's definitely something for the cucumber. Oh, yeah? Uh, so in the first half of the task, Ashling gets five points, Mark and Nish four, Bob and Sally two. OK, because of their observations. Stroke, mm. physical problems. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cucumber circumference, obviously, I've put it in a, uh, in a graph. Pretty pleased with this graph. Obviously. The standard cucumber, as we all know... <laughs> I've converted circumference to length of cucumber. As we all know, the standard cucumber is 30 centimetres or one foot. That's why quite often we say, I'm six cucumbers tall. <laughs> <laughs> and weirdly, uh, Mark was the closest. He was just 1.5 centimetres out, a couple of peas away. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Bob, Bob was a green bean away, then Ashling, then Sally, then Nish, who was a whole cucumber out. <laughs> <laughs> so there's some points there, right? Factoring in the cucumbers and the differences, the totals are Ashling and Mark both get eight points, Bob, six, Nish and Sally, four. Oh. oh. <laughs> Hello, Daisy. Alex. Johnny. This looks good. Thank you, Moan. Took quite a while. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Make the best portrait of the Taskmaster and his favourite toy. Using only balloons. Pegs and your own clothes. <laughs> your portrait must fill this frame. You have 30 minutes. The time starts now. Oh, it's like an um, art attack. No, it's completely different. Can I ask, do we know what his favourite toy is? Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? I don't know what it is. Is his favourite toy a balloon? <laughs> OK, what have we got? What kind of nose does Greg have? He's a handsome man, isn't he? Yes, he is. <laughs> oh, you! Uh, ah! This can be a nose. I know he's handsome and striking, but I'm not, I'm all, I can't think of the detail of his face. Right. I didn't know he had so much white hair. You don't do balloons in grey, do they? It'd help if he had, like, more distinctive features, do you know what I mean? What do you wish he had? Like a nose ring. <laughs> I mean, that's, that might also be his favourite toy. It's actually looking quite like him. And also a bit like my husband. His nose keeps wafting away, but it sort of does that in real life, doesn't it? It does drift. I'm going to give him insane eyes. He is a very angry man. He's handsome, isn't he? You keep saying that. Oh, wow. Is it coming off? Coat coming off. This is going to be his clothes. This is his hair. That's like two fingers. What am I going to use for his irises? Yeah, I think it's going to be abstract. Have you thought about his toy yet, Johnny? Don't you never run out of time? I was going to do him strangling a poodle. What's that? What do you think it is, Catherine? Cream? Cream. <laughs> What is that for? Oh! I can't believe I actually didn't think for a second that I could blow up the balloons. <laughs> didn't occur to me. It didn't occur to me. Oh, God! Oh, yeah, it's working. Oh, you! It's just his irises. I can't leave him like that. Unless I get some mud, it's like nature's charcoal. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Think about art, you've got to just like make a bold choice and then just do it. He absolutely loves lightsabers. Does he? Yeah. That's convenient. I mean, that is a freestanding duck. What's that? It's going to be a duck. Where do you keep the toys? Where do I keep the toys? Toy, toy. 
It's Nipple the Wonder Dog. Oh, please don't miss. Uh... There he is. <laughs> you think it's good? Not really, no. <laughs> There we go. All right, George. Should we see some then? Yeah, OK. Well, Catherine then, who thought you were very... <laughs> she thinks I'm a very handsome. Very handsome, but also basically did a picture of her own husband. Uh, it looked like this. <laughs> what? <laughs> so it's in profile, the toy. Oh, oh I thought the no. horrible little toy was... <laughs> no, that's your favourite toy. She called it a glamorous clothes cuddly comfort <laughs> duck. Oh, it does nice. look like a duck. Ah. I think the eyebrows are bang on. I'm not sure my nose is... Sorry, yes. 18 feet long. <laughs> <laughs> no, but my husband's is. And so I, I um, channelled his face to represent okay. your face. Maybe. I think it's a pretty good effort. If only yeah. you'd had some cream to finish it off. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see daisies next? Yes, please. I can't wait to see my lovely irises. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're going to enjoy your ears and your eyes with this one. Here's your face. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. You look happy. <laughs> I mean, it could look less like me, could it? Look at the size of the body. <laughs> <laughs> well, the irises moved around a bit. We can see a few different versions of the irises, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, it's that all is in the fantastic. irises. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's really bright. <laughs> You've made a gift. <laughs> you made a gift. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh. Absolutely rubbish. Oh, okay. yeah. next. Oh. Do you want to see Richard Herring's picture of you? Yes, please. It's quite flattering. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I don't know. I'll be honest with you, I don't know if it is flattering. I just, <laughs> honestly. The tummy's good. <laughs> yeah. The anger's good. <laughs> Have you been crying as well? Of yes. course. Yeah. Look at my penis. <laughs> <laughs> I've been rejected. <laughs> I've been rejected my whole life. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> What's my toy, Richard? Is it duck? Well, it's either your penis or there's a duck there under your, under your hat. <laughs> yes, it, you did say it was a duck. Yes. Duck. Okay. So you like to see its beak there. And, and, <laughs> the, and the tail, of course. <laughs> the duck tail. Who's next? Uh, the artist, Johnny Vegas. All right. Wow. Oh, oh wow. God. What I love is you've got my one big tooth. <laughs> 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 It's difficult, oh, isn't it? Oh, so good. It's so good, it's like almost like it's a shame. I'd... That's going to take some beating. Yes. Let's face it. It's time to find out why Moana has been left to last. How long left? You've got two minutes left. I feel like I need to start again. You're going to start again? I wouldn't advise that. His, his favourite toy is a permanent marker. OK. How long left? One minute fifty. OK. <laughs> You've got 45 seconds. 45 seconds, great! I think it's a masterpiece. Right. Well, I mean, I could see the logic of starting again, because the first one was just a collection of balloons. Yeah. <laughs> the first yeah. one looked like this. Yeah. <laughs> it looks yeah. like intestines. Well, we're not, we're not marking that, and that's good. <laughs> OK, great. So and let's see what we are marking. This. It, <laughs> it, it was meant to fill the frame. Was it? Yeah. Well, yeah. No, no, it was. We can zoom in. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that has got more likeness to you than any of them. To be fair, <laughs> the eyes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're looking at Alex. Um, let's have a look at them all together, can all we? All together, OK. Well, I've got to penalise him for not, for not filling the frame. Can we agree on that? Yes. So... What looks least like me, obviously, <laughs> it's daisies. Oh, what? Despite the lightsaber really? coming out of your neck? But the lightsaber coming out of my neck is a lovely touch, but apart from that, <laughs> it, it, it's a giant-headed child. So is that one point to Daisy? Well, correct, one point to well Daisy. Well done, Daisy. One point, uh, last place. Right, now, next like me, I'm going to put Richard and Mawan joint fourth. Two, two points each. Two points each. OK, that's fine. The others look quite like me, so uh, uh, Catherine gets four points and Johnny gets five. Johnny Vegas is the winner! There we go. For more Taskmaster, subscribe now. <laughs>